Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm the Mysterious JG. It's an abandoned casino. The old casino, that's what it is. I was like, is this a port or what's going on? But anyway, uh, we are chasing Dimitri. We are in a boat. We're in a boat, motherfucker. We're chasing Dimitri. I guess he's in a helicopter. We are in a boat. Let's see. He's back on He's back on the map as, an, as a thing that we can chase, so... He got him! Fuck! That's exactly what I said I did not want! That I took too long to get in the boat! Fuck, fuck, fuck! I... It's like it took me a minute to get in the boat because I wasn't sure where the hell Dimitri had actually gone. But he counted as getting away. Well, fine then. I need to... I have to be careful. Oh, that's the problem. If I, uh... If I'm tapping the A button to run, I can accidentally accept Jacob's call. What I want to do is go get armor and ammo and uh, then there we go. If I get armor and ammo, then I can accept that uh, text and restart the mission, but I need to get armor and ammo first. Actually, it doesn't matter which one I get, so why don't I get one that's less likely to accidentally trigger me going to the wrong place. Because once I accept the text, I'm just going to teleport to, I believe, the position where we're hanging around, uh... Telling Jacob that we will kill 8 billion Russians and he can just leave. I'll take the long way. Thanks. I'll take the long way. Thanks. I guess that's a joke. Anyway. Yeah, New York City. I've been there a couple of times. It's weird. It does have these little alleys where, like, you go downstairs into these little buildings. Some of them are street level. I don't know the street level has changed over the years. We are not quite full up on health, but I think that's okay because there's a... Uh, Little Jacob sending us a message asking, try again. Try again. Okay, so like I now we know there's a tiny little difference in the path. Although, honestly, if we jump down instead of going up, aren't we still going to get to the boat? I don't know. But I think I'm taking the same approach to this. I'm going to... I think it's slightly faster... It's certainly easier, and you're going to take damage. Maybe it takes longer this way. You, you certainly travel a little farther, but if you go this way, you can fairly... Uh, that wasn't what I meant to do. Yeah, this is going to make it take longer. Damn it, JG. Get on the get on the ladder. Okay, yeah, that was not what I meant to do. That made it take longer. Here I come, standing still, you coward. Just 
Just trying to move this along as quickly as possible. Is there somebody up here? I don't remember. Get up there, damn it. Okay. I already got him. Didn't mean to jump. I meant to climb. And then fall, but... Looks like one of the shotgunners is still alive. They really shouldn't have. What is it? I said, what is it? This is it. All right, let's check this text so that's not confusing anything later. We'll get the health pickup. Now we're very close to being full up on everything we could need. You're glad you messed with me. I'm going to try just running along the way that we would if we were fighting Pecorino's guys and hoping it's a little easier because we won't have Dimitri's guys. They'll be on the roof instead of on the ground. We're back on top. I didn't work this hard to share the spoils of a victory. Goodbye. Also, you were never on top. Dimitri, you and me is gonna end. <laughs> me and you is ending this now, Dimitris. Okay, so I actually didn't quite catch what he said there, but it was different. Okay, it might even be a little faster because. I had to fight Dimitri guys here, but now they're all up on the roof missing. Okay, get in the boat. Pilot the boat, Nico. Alright, so Pegarino takes a boat, and you have to take... A bike. Dimitri takes a helicopter. Slightly more stylish escape. So we have to take a boat. I guess that follows. Can't you hear me from up there? So there could be who knows what kind of obstacles to get in my way. I probably am going to have to hit some kind of jump in the boat. Uh, hopefully I uh, don't mess this up. Because uh, it should be... We should have plenty of armor and ammo to survive what comes after. As long as we don't mess up anything here. Looks like uh, we might have to be dodging rockets periodically. We just got a rocket in his pocket. Pussy hitman? That one almost hit. I didn't really evade anywhere near in time. Not that much evasion you can do in this boat. As I just showed you. God damn it! It's like the boats don't hand... Like, why are you giving me a game where I have to evade stuff in a boat when the boats are, like, impossible to handle? There's no, like, quick change direction in the boats in this game. And because I died instead of uh, simply... Um, Timing out, I don't have any uh, armor or. Taxi. So it matters in a, in a way that would have been kind of a, not a big deal. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're, we're, we're already on our way. We're, we're going down the road of it taking 100 tries to beat this last mission. I, I, I'm not going to let myself get frustrated though because. Um, 
it's nowhere near as bad as, fly, as uh, GTA 3 is. It's... He ran me over and then yelled at me. And I do not have time to worry about getting anything like revenge. Listen to reason, revenge. Even in this store, I'm nervous about like, what if I'm hitting the button to buy ammo and then, boom, the phone pops up. Okay. All right. I think climbing up on the roof is safer. You get more ammo, but it does take longer. So maybe this time I don't do it. Just trying to make this go as fast as it possibly can, you know? Okay, I didn't know there was a guy right there in that door. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I suppose that would, that would do it. That would be a problem. So I won't, I mean, I'll need to be a little bit more careful now, because I... I went through it faster and came out without armor, but... Asshole? Big Daddy a scared. I think I've got full health this time, so there's nothing to be gained by that health pickup. I'll just come here. Hey, what's the problem? Me and oh, I've completely forgot to see what time it was when I started the video, so... I didn't work this hard to share the spoils of a victory. Goodbye. I am an untrustworthy jerk, as you should have gathered. Oh, didn't mean to hit that button. Yep, yep. suck, Nico. I don't like you. All right, but, uh, okay, so our problem with the boat is going to be dodging the missiles. Got it. Get up, get up, get up, get up. You will not kill us. That was, uh... That would have been a dumb way to die. Yeah, but they're, uh... They start hitting you with those missiles early. I think it was a... I did not mean to get out of the... Into the water that early, but... Can I get into the boat, please? What the fuck's going on? Like, the camera is not... Okay. I think I'm about to fail because he's going to get too far away, but... I'm already gunning the motor here in the hopes I can recover. Like a Come on. 
A man who is in a boat that you are shooting missiles at. Yeah, I don't feel like I have enough control over this boat to... For this missile dodging game to be fair. I guess it depends on how close behind him you have to be before you're considered to have failed the chase. I know that's what you wanted, me to murder Dimitri. You were always... In fairness... Oh, fuck! I did not, uh... Notice... Okay. I thought that was water ahead of me. Any way I can push this thing in? No. There is no way I'm pushing that thing in. We are going to fail the mission again. Uh, yeah, Roman was always about us letting it go with Dimitri and not pursuing revenge, but, you know, that was before uh, Roman was murdered at his own wedding, which might have affected his, uh, his take on the whole situation. So this is frustrating in a very different way. Like, I thought, in this game, it's always fucking dark as shit and rain. Like, you can never see anything in this game. It has the most intentionally muddy visual style of any game from its generation. But, um, indeed, uh, I thought... There was a rock, and on either side of it was water, and it turns out, no, only to the left, as we were coming, was water. To the right was sand. We beached ourselves during the chase. I was worried that we wouldn't get a full a weekend's worth of videos. It does not appear that that is going to be a problem. They always play their, like, uh, beginning of the drive dialogue, even if it's the end of the drive when, uh... No, no. Oh, that was close. I tap. No, fuck, it took! It took. God damn it. I tapped the button once to try to get some speed going, and... Fuck. Hey, how you doing? No shooting on side, all right? <sighs> All right, I guess we're doing the chase again. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I mean, it's the last mission of the game. It should be, it shouldn't be a gimme. Um, and in GTA 5, this would probably seem like an underwhelming mission. It's not that long. Because GTA 5's thing is it has to give you these really long and involved missions with lots of parts because GTA 5 has the modern, like, hold your hand never make you replay a tough part after you've managed to squeak by once with luck uh, style of game. So it's like, yeah, you make a single mistake, you go back to like a quarter of a second before you made the mistake and try again in GTA 5. So its main missions have to be really long. This, uh, it's not like this mission's unfair, but it gets a little, it does get frustrating to have to keep going through the parts that are not a problem again over and over to get to the part that is. Or as again, in GTA 5, you literally, like I think the third time you fail at something, no matter what it is, you will get an option to just skip ahead to the next part. Well, he knew which cab we were in. It's like, come on, brother, get in my car before you even get out of the cab. All right, one last time for you guys to see the dialogue that I can't skip through, at least. I guess it sounds like... Oh, and I can listen to the wacky... Wow! Okay, rain mechanics are going to make it, so I can't even win this part. Why does this take so long? Where are these idiots hiding out? Easy, Nico. Just be cool now. Take a rain and they mean to be spreading up the large amount of money with them get from the business deal. Everybody live in the city more than... Well, once the sound comes back, you can listen to hilarious... Them making fun of TV court shows on the radio, even though TV court shows aren't really on the radio. Well, 
He'd actually be totally cool right now with being murdered by Dimitri. He would be mad at first. I'm gonna mash them up like a potato. Hey, speaking of potatoes, how come we don't have Derek McCreary? I mean, uh, Pocky McCreary. I guess Derek. Um, no, Derek's the one who uh, we killed. Gerald is the one who's in jail. Packy is the one who's our quote friend. And um, I forget, Francis is the one who's like an evil cop. Well, I think I will just follow him on the legal side because he ends up coming back over here anyway. This is this will be an interesting time to see. Is there any reason to go over on that side? Because in the past, like as long as you stay within a certain distance, which is easier when you're not dodging traffic that he has knocked around, uh, he doesn't illegally turn down, uh, like turn off on an on ramp to get off of the highway, which is what would make it so you kind of had to follow him over there. Instead, he comes back on the correct side, I believe, and uses a legal off-ramp eventually. But hopefully we never, we ne other than this attempt, we never find out, and because we hopefully don't have to do this again. He was a rambler and a gambler, and I guess he always, w well, no, he won't always, because he's dead. Perhaps somewhere in heaven he is losing a bet with dangerous gangster. Oh fuck, I guess we do uh, go off on an illegal... Yeah, he does end up going off on an on-ramp. Never mind. You do need to... Uh... Alright, well hopefully we still can catch up. So they're telling us the story of Eddie Lowe, who was the last Stranger and Freak mission, the serial killer who tried to murder us with a knife and succeeded because I was trying to pull a gun and it was taking too long. But we eventually, you know, we loaded and did it again and succeeded in murdering him. And, uh, yeah, so now we're seeing why you do want to switch and go into the oncoming lane to keep up, because if you don't, you'll potentially lose on the backside of the mission but it doesn't really matter we kind of know where he's going we just have to stay within uh, the game's reasonable radius if you are still chasing him and it'll all work out okay I even think he might slow down a bit when you uh, start to lose him because he definitely when we got ahead of him a few times when we were on the legal path he started driving like a bullet he was like no the game's like nope no nope we're catching up we're getting ahead of you don't worry But I believe we've reached the point now where we are all set to uh, probably just, we're going to trigger the second half of the mission whenever we get over here. I don't know which is faster, going up there where they're easy to deal with, or just dealing with them from here. Takes a little, the shooting takes a little longer, and you're, you're not moving around so much. He calls us a fucking pull. I guess at this point, are we fighting Pegarino's guys? I think we might be fighting Pegarino guys at this point. Or a mix. Yeah, that was like, I was gay! It's one of the Russian mob uh, shatter things. Damn it! 
I mean, I, it's more haste, less speed. Like, the, the more things I do to try to make this go faster, the more I just make it take more time. I re okay, that's gotta be it. Now, don't catch yourself on fire. And feed it to you. And then there's this guy up. It's the shotgun guy up here. It's just very difficult to find a way to get at him without putting yourself at some risk. Other than hanging around forever, angling sniper shots outside. Again, more haste, less speed. If I just calm down, I could do this quickly, I guess, but I'm really trying to get this over with because I've spent too many attempts at this part, and I know I can do this part. I don't have to be careful, so I'm trying to rush it, and it's making it take longer. Okay. Dimitri, what? Dimitri, I thought you were my friend! What's going on? <laughs> I kind of... I lost time before running around, getting into the water. Okay. Oh, there's a cinematic that's supposed to play here. Oh, well, this is where it was all going to shit. I'm supposed to have this cinematic. And I probably land in or near the boat. Yeah, there you go. Okay, well, I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that game? So I was, like, doing this weird alternate path where I wasn't even doing it right. And almost pulling it off. All right, well, let's not go... Let's never err towards moving towards the right to save time. <laughs> now, you seem to be at the most risk, obviously, of getting hit by his missiles if you're going directly towards him. But at this point, I can't even see him, which makes it difficult to figure out how to evade. When I shoot your legs off. Okay, at this point I don't even... It's difficult to plan an evasion route where I can't... Oh, I probably don't want to get too close then. It'll make it really hard to dodge his missiles. But I'm probably supposed to be a lot closer to him. And not quite as desperate to make time. Because th that was what was wrong before. Watch it turn out I was like two seconds away from triggering the plot when I got killed that first time. Oh, fuck. I'm about to hit up here. That's not good. No! No! Oh, come on! Flip the boat, Nico. Use your magical boat flipping powers. No! Why didn't you use your magical boat flipping powers, Nico? Oh, well, now I know there's an actual reason to go up and follow them up the stair or the ladder instead of just, I know I have to get to this boat. Why don't I just run to the boat? Because, uh, we ended up a lot closer to, um... Doesn't matter which ammunition you go to. I just find this one easier to navigate into. There's not... But anyway, um... We never want to, uh... Be that close to him because that makes it really hard to dodge the rockets. Why, why did you pull so far away before you pulled up to the curb, you jerk? You're, you're trying to trick me into pressing the, the A button to dash so that I will accept. Jacob will, like, sneak in a call and I'll answer it and be doomed to repeat the car chase again. You and Jacob are in cahoots. He's trying. Little Jacob, I know he's our best friend in the city at this point, but he's trying to extend his role in the game. He doesn't want the LP to end. He knows he doesn't appear in, um... Well, I don't know if he appears in uh, Ballad of Gay Tony. I, he may appear... 
in uh, Lost and Damned. It just doesn't seem likely because I don't know why he would appear in either of them, actually. <laughs> okay. What I'm going to do is just fight my way through the boat chase. Actually, I don't even really need to do that, do I? I think I'm at like the 30 minute mark. I might just fight my way through the boat chase and start recording from there. Yeah. All right. So when we come back next time, we'll be at the uh, boat chase and the helicopter portion. Bye-bye.